Are you tired of treating stubborn acne and you just don't know what to do anymore? Well, we're going to break down some of the causes and the best treatment options that are accessible at your fingertips. Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan Carpeville. I'm a Mohs surgeon and cosmetic dermatologist. In our practice, we treat acne all the time. And so today we want to go through a couple of those key tips that will help you get through this. So it's First, important to understand what causes acne. So acne is caused by oil, clogging, and bacteria. When we get clogging of the pores, it blocks things off and acne can build up and create whiteheads, blackheads, and sometimes even inflammation, creating cystic or inflammatory pimples. This is actually something that people aren't necessarily aware of, that all acne is not exactly the same. So we have superficial types of acne that are the whiteheads and blackheads, and they don't really have much inflammation to them. And then we have those that have redness associated or tenderness associated. And those ones are important to take care of. Why? Because they can cause scarring. So that's gonna be your inflammatory papules, your nodules, and even your cysts. So those types of deeper acne lesions will leave you with permanent scarring if not treated. I know it's very common to have an urge to pop pimples, especially if they're right on the surface. Sometimes it's okay to do that, but for those deep ones, I urge you to hold off and I'm gonna give you a few tips of things that you can use at home. So let's start with some over-the-counter treatments that are accessible. Some over-the-counter treatments include a pimple patch. People love that. They can be with salicylic acid and just put it right on it helps my patients avoid picking. It helps salicylic acid get in, into the lesion and help dry it out. And it just helps you not think about it when it's covered. So I really like that as a treatment option. Overall, other beneficial topicals are gonna to be retinols and retinoids. So they're actually retinoids like adapalene that is accessible now. It used to be prescription and it's now over the counter. So that you can use a couple nights a week and that's gonna help reduce the clogging, reduce the oil that can be originating acne for some people. Other options are benzoyl peroxide, which is an antibacterial and it also reduces oil. This can be a little bit sensitive for some people. So you can use different percentages, maybe start with a lower percentage and that's gonna help reduce the bacteria that can cause the acne. Another simple option, I did mention it in the patch, but it's salicylic acid. So there's salicylic acid washes. There's, I love a salicylic acid wipe. It's almost like an at-home like mini peel. So that's going to help reduce the clogging and oil as well. So those are all really great options that are really at our fingertips because all those ingredients I mentioned are over-the-counter. There are times where these over-the-counter treatments are not going to work. Sometimes these inflammatory pimples can be caused by other things, including hormones or you know, deeper infections. So you may need to see a dermatologist to help counsel you and prescribe you, you know, medications that are gonna help uh, solve those issues. Certain topicals are prescriptive, including stronger retinoids require prescriptions. Sometimes we need to use a short course of an oral antibiotic if there seems to be a lot of inflammation or a potential bacterial infection. Accutane, isotretinoin as the generic for that, is a great treatment option for reducing oil. These are all conversations that you'll want to have with your dermatologist, but they're great tools that are available if the over-the-counters are not cutting it. Lifestyle habits include don't pick, don't pop, Keep the skin clean, wash it once to twice a day, and use topicals as appropriate. Don't over dry your skin, don't overwash your skin. If your skin is irritated, listen to your body. Stop using what you're using either as often or completely and consult your dermatologist. I also really think that nutrition is really important. We have nutritionists on our staff for exactly that reason. There's some things that topicals just cannot fix. So what we put into our body can often reflect what our skin shows. And this holds so true for acne. So having a lot of processed foods, or even maybe it's not a processed food, but it's a trigger in your diet for you as an individual. So we work to help people through that as well. But as a general bit of advice, avoid processed foods, eat whole foods, 
good vegetables and drink a lot of water. If your acne is painful, if it's not improving, if it's leaving you with red marks and scars, it may be time to go be a professional. The doctors in our practice are wonderful and we are here to help develop a plan, mostly to fix your acne and to really help prevent scarring. And there's tons of options to help rejuvenate the skin post acne scarring as well that we can discuss. If you enjoyed the content today, feel free to like the video and follow along, subscribe to our channel. If you have any additional questions or comments, feel free to drop them below.